Video editing is a fascinating process, but it can also be pretty time consuming, especially if you find yourself spending too much time on things which could easily be done by just a few button presses. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of my most used shortcuts in Premiere Pro, which will help you speed up your editing process and save you countless hours in the long run. But I don't wanna just throw random key combinations at you and expect you to memorize them, but instead I created five different categories, each containing two to three shortcuts, so it's much easier to remember them. Let's go! Category number one is trimming and cutting. And the first shortcut is the one that hands down saved me the most hours in my career. I'm speaking about Q and W. Let's say we have this clip right here in which we need to cut out the beginning and the end. What most editors would do is they would come here, grab the razor tool, make a cut, then come here, cut, delete this part, and delete this part, and then delete this empty space. It is an extremely inefficient way. Instead, we simply come here, hit Q to trim everything in this clip, which comes before the playhead, and then come over here and hit W to remove everything that comes after the playhead. It is that simple. You can also click Option Q or Option W to do the same thing, except your clip will remain at the same spot in your timeline. And the second very useful shortcut in the trimming and cutting category is Command K. What it will do is it will make a cut at your playhead so you don't have to reach out for your razor tool every time you need to do a cut. If you have multiple layers which you want to cut at the same time, then just hit Shift Command K and it will cut all your clips. Works perfectly with Q and W shortcut when working with one long clip, for example, where you need to remove pauses and select better takes. So in the second shortcut category, we've got transitions. Select one or multiple clips and hit Command D which will apply a default transition at the start and at the end of the clip. If you have multiple clips, like in our case, it will also apply a transition in between them. By default, it will create a simple cross dissolve, but you can set any other transition to be your default just by going over to the effects panel, finding any transition you like, right-clicking and choosing set selected as default transition. And the new default transition will get this blue outline. The second transition shortcut is Shift Command D, which will apply a default audio transition. And guys, this shortcut is a killer. Every time I finish a cut, I make sure to select all my audio clips and hit Shift Command D. Because it will create a smooth and perfect transition in between audio clips so that nothing sounds like it was suddenly abrupt or nothing will kick in loudly like a glitch sound. And you can of course also change your default audio transition to one of these three. And for both of these shortcuts, video and audio, we can change the default transition length in settings, timeline, right here. Moving on to the third category, which is speed. The shortcut Command R will open up a clip speed duration menu, where you can adjust all the speed related parameters. I use it mostly when I'm working with slow motion footage. Here you can also reverse the speed of your clip, which will make it play backwards. Maintain audio pitch will make the audio sound as normal as possible at new speed. And the last checkbox will ensure that the position of other clips will be taken into consideration after speed adjustments. Now the second speed shortcut is R, which will grab the rate stretch tool so you can adjust the speed of a clip just by dragging it to one side or to the other. I rarely use it to slow down the footage because there I want to be more precise, but it comes in handy when I need to quickly speed up a clip, for example. In the next category, we've got some audio editing shortcuts. And here we have left square bracket and right square bracket. The left square bracket it will decrease the volume of a selected clip by one decibel and the right square bracket will increase it by one decibel. Shift square left or right bracket will increase or decrease the volume of a selected clip by six decibels. It's a nice simple shortcut. Next, select a clip and hit G 
which will open up audio gain. Easy to remember, G for gain. Here what I mostly use is normalized max peak 2. Let's put minus 1 dB here and it will take the highest point in your audio and make it as loud as possible without distorting it. And last but definitely not least, we've got the playback category. With famous JKL, you can save a ton of time when reviewing your edit. If we hit L once, it will start the playback just like hitting the spacebar. If we hit L again, it will double the playback speed, hit again to triple it and so on. To pause, we hit K and if we want to play the video backwards, we hit J. We can also hit J again and it will double the reverse playback speed. Now these three keys are right next to each other on your keyboard for a reason. J will play your video backwards, K will stop it and L will play it forward. So whenever reviewing your edit, just place your three fingers on those three keys and you'll be able to go through your edit much faster than before. And one bonus shortcut which I wanted to share but it didn't really fit into previous categories is M, which allows you to put markers on your timeline or on your clips. Simple thing but very useful to help you quickly and easily leave indications for yourself or some other editor if you plan to pass the project further. Double pressing M will pop this menu open where you can name your marker, write a comment, choose color and set all other other details. You can also hold option and drag your marker to extend it over a specific area. And that's it guys, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section down below, like the video if it was helpful, subscribe for more and until the next time, have a good one.